A top adviser to the Abbott government has backed the return of the cane to our schools. The head of the National Curriculum Review says corporal punishment can be beneficial to children as long as it's done properly. It's a sound that hasn't been heard in WA public schools since 1999. I think a lot of people nostalgically look back on those days and think, oh, they all worked. It didn't work. But Dr Kevin Donnelly, who's advising the federal government on national curriculum, says it may be time for a comeback. If the school community is in favour of it, then I've got no problem. And if it's done, you know, properly, and there are one or two schools around Australia that I know where it actually is, you know, uh, approved of, and they do do it. The state government says we've moved on from the days of six of the best and most parents we spoke to agree. I think it'd be disgusting. I had it when I was at school. I don't think it really made any difference to me or um, any of my friends. If they're causing harm to other children, if they're uh, being destructive, maybe. WA Primary Principals Association president says Dr Donnelly's view is outdated but stopped short of calling for him to be sacked. Should he be in the job? Um, these comments uh, are not worthy of a person at that level. Only two schools in WA use corporal punishment. Nolamara Christian Academy is one and the other the Bible Baptist College in Mount Helena where the parent handbook says a parent will hit their child with a bamboo stick up to six times with a staff member present and the parent must pray with their child afterwards. Under the school guidelines, if a parent refuses to cane their child, he or she will be suspended. The school emphasises its philosophy is about correction rather than punishment. And while the discipline is firmly carried out, it's tempered with good judgment and understanding. Principals say even if corporal punishment was part of the public curriculum, most schools would choose not to use it. Rachel Carey, Nine News.